If you've ever tried to edit a video before, which you probably have since you've landed in this video, then you might know that there is often an A roll and a B roll. Now, A roll is usually your primary footage, which for example, is like the one you're watching right now of me just speaking to the camera. And B roll is your secondary footage. So if I were to bring in some additional footage to kind of further depict what my story is or what I'm trying to describe in the video, now, B-roll is actually super important to not only illustrate the story that you're trying to tell, but it is actually super important to help capture attention and kind of keep your audience excited and interested in what they're looking at. But if you are editing in the Canva video editor, it can become a little bit tricky to add in that B-roll footage or even images onto your A-roll. So I have found a couple of techniques to make this easier, so let's go through it together. Hello, hello, I'm Cheryl here at the Made on Sunday studio and I talk all about branding, design, and creative entrepreneurship on this channel. So if you are creating or growing your creative business right now, then be sure to subscribe to follow along. Now, before we get into today's tutorial, I did want to let you know that my latest class, Romanticize Your Business, video content creation with Canva is finally live on Skillshare. I am so excited for you to check it out. It is made for service-based entrepreneurs, whether you're a designer, a copywriter, a coach, or what kind of, whatever kind of service-based business that you do. If you are hoping to dive into video content creation as a means of marketing for your business, then this class is for you. I'm gonna go through the basics of my whole video creation process from strategizing and creating your goals for your video to setting up your equipment to scripting and creating your shot list to picking music all the way to filming with just your iPhone and then video editing with a Canva video editor is completely for beginners at any level so if you're interested then I want to invite you to take the class with me on Skillshare I'm gonna leave the links to my one month free Skillshare trial um, in the description below and you can basically take the class for free so I cannot wait to see you in class but for now let's get into this tutorial hello welcome to my laptop we are right now signed into my canva account and to demonstrate today's tutorial I'm going to actually open up like a YouTube um, canvas so I'm gonna look up YouTube video and I'm gonna open this up right here and it's going to open up a canvas that has a video timeline in the bottom. So first off, we are going to put in our A roll. So let's just say, as an example, we're going to bring in this footage of me just like talking to the screen. Let's pretend this is the A roll and I'm going to just make this bigger and take up the whole screen here. I think this is just an intro of like one of my videos, my YouTube videos. Okay, let's just say we wanted to add B-roll in the middle of this footage. In order to do that, we're going to do this little hack. So let's just say the footage that I want the B-roll to start at is right here. We're actually going to split the footage here and I'm going to just split the page right here. What we're gonna do next is we're actually going to bring in um, a grid element and you're gonna see that it's going to take up the whole screen here. It's no problem, this is gonna all work out in the end. We're going to upload our B-roll footage. Let's just say this one right here is a B-roll footage that I wanted it to cut into. Now this B-roll footage, we need to make sure that the audio is off of this one so that the A-roll footage is still the main audio when this B-roll is playing, right? So next what we're gonna do is I'm going to actually right click this footage right here and I'm going to click on show timing. And this is the hack in order to have two different video layers stacked on top of each other. Now you can see that the B-roll footage is in the top layer and what we can do is we can actually shorten this to wherever the video B-roll actually starts and begins and then you can play the footage and you're gonna see it all work out. Hello you guys, welcome back to my It's gonna cut into the B-roll very quickly. Studio and 
I talk all about branding, design, and creative entrepreneurship. It's going to cut into the B-roll here. So if you are growing your dream business right now, then be sure to And you can, as you can hear, the A-roll footage is still the main audio in the background, and then the B-roll footage is just kind of floating on top of um, the A-roll footage. So if you want to show the timing again, you can kind of see it happen here. Now, really easily, you can actually move this B-roll footage wherever you want it to start. So that makes it really, really easy moving forward. Let's just say we want to add in some images now. We can do the same kind of technique here. Let's just say this is where the image needs to show up. We're going to split the footage again. We're going to bring your um, image in. So we're going to bring in, let's just say this little uh, Mickey Mouse photo, Disneyland photo that I took with my husband the other week. And let's say, let's say this image needs to show up only until around this part of the footage right here. So what's important here is we're going to actually click on the image right here and we're going to click on show timing and this actually creates the second layer. Again, we can shorten this image to wherever I stop talking about this Disneyland image and then we can now go ahead and watch it. And we just make sure that that image is showing at the correct time. So this is the first B-roll footage and then later on the image shows up. And let's just say we watch it and we're like, hmm, it needs to actually be shorter and not show up as long. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on spacebar to play the footage. And then let's just say it needs to stop here. We're going to do that same technique again. And we're just going to shorten that image until it hits where that line is stopped. So we're going to watch it one more time from here. Just make sure that that B-roll image is correct. There we go. And that is how you add in B-roll videos into your A-roll footage as well as B-roll images into your footage as well. Now, if you enjoyed this tutorial, then be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos like this. And I also wanted to remind you one more time to check out my newest Skillshare class, Romanticize Your Business Video Content Creation with Canva. I promise you it's going to be so much fun. It's made for service-based entrepreneurs who are wanting to finally dive into video content creation using an iPhone and editing on Canva. So everything you probably already have on hand right now to start creating video to market your business and your portfolio. So I'm so excited to see you in class. I'm going to leave the links to my one month Skillshare subscription for basically for free and you can take the class there for within the first month. All right, I cannot wait to see you in class and I'll also see you in the next video. Bye. <laughs>